I want an independent thinking of my students and to have courage in doing experiments and experiments mean that the design process is a way uh, to get where you don't know exactly um, what the result will look like. Hello everyone, here is Mario. Welcome to another episode, interesting episode of Design Interview 10 Questions, where we interview designers from all around the world. Um, today's guest is Leander Heisenmann. He's a Swiss graphic designer based in Zurich, Switzerland. Previously, he worked in Munich, Amsterdam and Berlin. Uh, his works are mostly posters, books, drawings, and paintings. Um, in his artworks, the printing process and the bookbinding uh, techniques play a fundamental role in the design process, ad uh, adding concept aspects to the result. And uh, yeah, I mean, he, he received uh, many international recognitions and awards for his works. Uh, in addition to this, um, he is also a teacher at the Hochschule für Gestaltung und Kunst, the Basel School of Design, and he was my teacher actually. Uh, he runs also different workshops in Switzerland and also abroad. Um, yeah, so welcome, Leander. Thank you for being here. Hello, thank you. Ciao, Mario. Uh, it's a pleasure to to be here and yeah i'm very open and very interested about your questions and to have a an interesting chat together so uh, i always remind to all the interviewees that you are totally free so to mm -hmm. answer whatever you want and mm -hmm. if you don't mind we can start with the starting question mm -hmm. of course we which can. is what made you become a designer? So is there a story like your parents were designers or like how did you get here? Yeah, that's uh, maybe we, I can start very early. No, my, my parents, uh, my father was a musician, a composer of music and my mother worked in a new, at a newspaper. So maybe she had a little uh, a feeling for typography because she was a typesetter. But uh, at home, we never uh, talk about uh, design. We, we had a, a strong connection to culture, music more, most. But yeah, maybe it's, I have a brothers, they are splitted in each, e either uh, it's music or it's more in the visual field. It's funny. Uh, yeah, it's, I have, uh, we are nine uh, and in the family, but not my, uh, my, it's, uh, it was the, another, it's not my direct brothers. So it's my step brothers. Yeah, I think you can say that in that. Uh, and yeah, the story, in a way, I was, I was always interested in drawing, on painting, and I was, uh, I was not that good in mathematics and sport, and therefore maybe it was, it was, it was, I was in a way a, a refugee in that field of, of I'm able to do something. I'm bad in sports, I'm bad in math, so, but I can, I can draw. And that was, yeah, what was in a way pushing me in that direction with a pleasure to be there to make something. And there was a funny story when I uh, started school, um, first class, we had to make a test with a psychologist. I visited the day before, that was a Monday, I, w I visited the day before, 
uh, the zoo, and we had to draw a tree, you know, uh, with a lot of branches, a lot of little branches, and a lot of details. So that means, oh, this child is open-minded, and it's hell, it's physically and psych, uh, psych, uh, 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 it is health, and. I, my impression, I was very impressed by, by these trees in the zoo, in the monkey house. And they weren't having any, any little branches. That was just one thick stroke and another one on the third one with any little details, with, where, uh, with any branches, nothing. And I was drawing this tree. And they didn't want to put me in school because they, the psychologist, they told my parents, he told my parents, this, this child is not able to have social connections. So maybe this was, but I was, I draw a design, a designed tree. So it was in a way a design. It was a reduction to the max of a tree. So maybe this is a funny story when, when I was first not that purposefully, of course, um, influenced by, by another form and something which is a tree, but a designed tree. So that was not purposefully, of course, in a way, but I was influenced and it was important for me then. And yeah, it's a nice story for, for for in my my first reduced work <laughs> so for you we can also say that design is a kind of way to reduce things in the most important aspect of one thing yes concept. yeah i would say it, it is not in every case it's a reduction but it's a transformation maybe it's the tra word transformation is better than just reduction. Reduction is taking things away. I'm not that a friend of only taking things. I'm not the friend of uh, less is more. But it is transformation. I like to transform things. And I think design is transform. It's about transforming things and adding new things or adding another perspective to things, to something which is here. Also, like trying to use graphics to translate, transform, as you said, a concept in a message. Yes, yes, yes. In a message, or if you have a book, you have a complex structure of complex issue, content, you have to, there it is not only a message, there you, it is a guidance for the, for the reader how to find into the book how, and how to find through a very complex structure in, in a book. And so I think it's quite different if we talk about a poster where we really have one message in one picture with a short typographic information, or when you have a book with, yeah, with a lot of chapters, maybe scientific or, or research-based books, even more uh, than just a novel. That's, yeah, there you, you are um, a pathfinder, in a way, through, through a jungle of, of a lot of complex issues. What, what do you think you create with the poster and with the book? I think in the poster you have to grasp a moment, duck, catch. First, second, you are in a way always visual, even if you have a text, if you have a typographic poster, it is the form of the letters which grasps attention at the first thing, maybe at the first moment. And yeah, it is this momentally 
acting being in the poster, which is which makes the essence. And this is, can be contrasts, uh, size, uh, color, uh, everything together. But in this in this very um, in this moment of this this shape and in of in this in the moment of a, a very short time and <clears throat> in a way book is f much more like mm, you walk together with people and you start somewhere mm, you you have to bring food with you you, you have to drink you have to you you are going to be thirsty you are going to be tired and you start to walk and you have to be aware that where do you want to rest with the people because they are hungry and tired. So in the book it's the same. You, you, you go into it, you take, you make, you start a travel and you have to work with packages in a way of, of content um, which is um, possible to to take to 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 take for the for the view for the reader, and you have to work a lot as well with poses. Where when do you make a pose, and how? What even when it is a textbook? Or when it is, when it is mixed, a mix between images, text, graphics, um, then where are the where are the breaks? Where are the changes? Uh, maybe it's you can say it's not only like a walk. It's maybe it's like a film. Do you want to have a cliffhanger somewhere, or where do you stop? Where do you start with a new chapter with a new? Where do you bring images into it? You distribute them all over in a rhythm of uh, in the book, or you make really slots with only images to have a, the, the most big contrast to the to only text pages. So that that is really interesting. Uh, that it is a long time. You can step in. You can go out. You can start again and of course like if you take people with you on a walk you are the guide you have to explain them where to go and where they are in the moment and that's that's interesting the same you have to do in the in the book you have to tell them you are here now you and we will go now here in this direction. I remember that once uh, we spent the quite a lot of time in the screen printing lab together. Mm -hmm. We were screen printing um, different projects. Right, and right, yeah. Because for for you, uh, and we also quoted in the introduction, for you it's really important the printing process because it had mm -hmm. something to the poster or whatever, what, what is the usual process that you have when you approach a new project? First, it's to, to look behind the, the, the whole image. What is the task? What is the message? How open is the, the public? who has to understand it, that's important, for whom you are doing a poster, for which peer group or for, for which kind of group, because the differences are huge. Uh, I am in a happy, in a lucky position that I can, that I work for a group of viewers, uh, they are, interested and they are curious to see new things. So I don't have to sell sausages on a poster. 
and that's a real uh, yeah i'm i'm that's that's i feel happy about that it's it's a luxury situation in a way so then i the second step is i start to i ask always is it offset or is it screen print or what kind of technique because i li really like to start from behind um when it when it is screen print what how many colors do i have then i start i start to think always in a combination uh with the with the message with the content for of course i start to think in layers in in printing layers one color after another color and what can i do with that what when i print with white and I have a paper white and I have, I have a, um, a color which is white, which maybe is not the same one. And that makes it interesting. On, and I mean, you have, often you are limit, limited uh, finance, finances, uh, the budget, the, maybe the, the, the number of colors uh, or the shape if you have if you have to show three images on it you have to split the the shape but if you want what if you want to show a, a fourth one you have to bring a clever idea to bring another another image maybe on top of it which is interesting as well a poster can be one poster but what if it is more than one you can make if you can make create a series of posts or maybe three of it then it starts to be then the, the question about printing is as well important because you are layering so you can keeping away one layer changes maybe the optics the visual of uh, of your your image but as well as well it changes maybe uh, content wise something so you can with layer with the thinking this of layering printing wise technically wise you can uh, play with the content as well and to make you can make an interesting series of of maybe three posters which are a family but different but do you think perfection exists in design or not maybe it's not perf maybe perfection is is not that a nice or friendly word because it has something like this maybe care let's say care to be careful with things in a design education it is important to have this process even more, uh, because wherever you are in a daily business, you won't have so, ma so much time to develop things. So, yeah, I, it's, my approach is to bring students as much as possible in a position of experimenting and developing uh, things to have a treasure of experiences afterwards when it is when it yeah in, I mean I had to do a book in within three weeks from the beginning to the, the file which is what had, which was given to the printer shop yeah there is not much time to develop things but if you have an in and if you have your own instruments and you can find them in within your education uh, in the school if you have your instruments to to take experiments in a very very short day uh, time um, to make a short experiment to be to stay open to test some ideas to then and 
I mean, these are that's this has to be a decision made in one in a half a day or something like that. But if you are if you made a lot of experiments, you will able to do this short with your experience. Experience you can make in a way an open-minded uh, design, even with a sh- very in a very short time. So that's yeah, that's uh, and I mean you can make you can stay with an openness even until the, the printer is doing his or her job because for the for I'm I'm I like to try things which are not that common in book design or poster design so printing on a very rough paper with a very very fine typography uh, normal normally would say ah oh, that's not possible we stay in a standard because we have no time we have no money and if it if it is not working it's a catastrophe but if if you have a little bit of experience you can say and you you have of course a, a good printer on your side and you together you can do something which is an experiment as well but 90% it will work what what do you think about um contemporary design i mean especially because um always quoting uh, the basel school of design uh, is well known for the history for uh, Emil Ruder, Armin Hoffmann, mm. uh, Wolfgang Weingart, and so on. But today you are also seeing a lot of uh, young generation of students and graphic designers. Mm. And so, what do you think about today's design? It's I can only speak from Europe and from Switzerland. Uh, I have experiences a little bit in Netherlands, in Germany, and what I see, it is, in the moment, it is super interesting things going on. There is a big pressure on one side economically to make things cheap, cheaper and faster. And there is on the other side as a reaction, there is an, a need for quality, for beauty, for this for design which is a careful design. And that brings a lot there is a lot of power in this direction as a reaction of this faster bigger cheaper um, consumption and you can feel that if you i mean there is this lucerne uh, festival poster poster festival in lucerne there are a lot of initiatives from designers or from abroad uh, which which uh, bring a lot of new ideas into that field and it makes it you can make it visible through that and this is important and this is really very li- very living in the moment it, 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 it is it's a living community and the living situation so i'm very positive and do you think one of uh, the reason why this is happening is because of the impact of internet on design or not i think it plays a big role yes i'm Convinced that in a field which I am personally not that much in, this is all this uh, new media uh, field of visual communication and art and the mixtures of 
of uh, visual communication and art in new media, which is super rich, I'm sure. I'm not that into uh, in it, but I think it has, it has an influence, yes. And you can reach world in ways shrinking or it's better you can reach more people with within a, a low finance channel which is it's cheap to to do it's you don't have to print things you don't have to you don't have to the whole infrastructure uh which which you have in in analog um media distribution and things like that. So through the internet, you can come in contact with, with the world and you have an exchange which can make the situation very rich. Uh, as a teacher um, in Basel, um, is there something that are you interested in? Like, some aspect of the education that you push more than others and there is also something that you see is changing for the students so first your first question um i want an independent thinking of my students and to have courage in doing experiments and experiments mean that the design process is a way uh, to get where you don't know exactly um, what the result will look like or you, where you don't know exactly where you want to end, where you will end. In a pressure of time with a, with a client in the back, of course. You are not an artist who can say, yeah, I give myself a year to do something. But this independent thinking and this openness that I want to, to, to give to my, to my um, students. And another thing is, of course, craft. That's important uh, that you exercise in a way it sounds stupid but in a way you have to to repeat you have to do you have to draw constantly you in the computer or uh, on paper you have to experiment constantly with your camera with your 4d program with your uh, new media programs to, to find new things or unseen things or combinations from two different worlds, which in that, in that manner, nobody did so far. So you have to keep working and in, and yeah, that's, that's a way, that's another important, you know, important thing. The th third thing is the ability to grasp structures to see behind things in their complexity and to simplify it for yourself to understand it because you have to sim you have you as a designer have to understand what you do um, and what what the structure is before you can guide people through it and regarding the students, do you think, um, do you see a change in the way the students approach the school? I, they are, yes, they, when I compare with my, my education, there is more quality in less time. We have been slower. In, in the end of the 90s or 95 or something like this. I think we learned, we all learned to, to mm -hmm. 
be more efficient. I don't like that word so much, but when it when you can stay open in that efficiency, that's then it's fine. That's one thing, and the. Um, How shall I say the the outside the world uh, is tougher than it was in the eighties in the nineties uh, for a photographer or graphic designer it was quite easy to get a job and at least here in Switzerland uh, that's in a way not that easy actually and I re remember we have been very relaxed after the thesis yeah let's have a look something will appear now I see the students are looking for possibilities for niches for jobs within the last the beginning of the last year of education so there is a more a, it is it has become quite serious to 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 be fit and ready if you if you are after your thesis that changed a lot but where do you see the role of the designer in the future because i think it changed and is getting more serious somehow in the society, the graphic designer? That's an important question, yes. The definition the question is first, where does star design or graphic design or campaigning or visual communication starts? Um, I remember in November 19, this uh, Sardine movement in Italy. I mean, it was, it had a huge impact. It was made not by a student of visual communication, I think, but the field, it is campaigning and it is design in a way for me, because you had this, this logo of the Sardine, which is counted by solidarity, a swarm, a lot of together and small thing. If you, if, if you are small and, but you are a lot, you have power. And I mean, it worked. It was amazing how good it worked. And it has this fish and everyone could draw a fish as well. And everyone knew or is, knows how it, a, a sardine looks like. So that was a, in a way, that's the question, is that as well, where does design start? In a way for me, that was a lot of things together. That was campaigning, that was social engagement, that was political engagement, that was visual uh, uh, as well. And that was name, naming as well. So fields you have in the, in the advertisement world as well. So that's in a way interesting for me who who is who contributes design or graphic design is it always only us or is it a student who are who are uh, engaged and who does who starts something and i think the that it is that we can take care and that we can put a finger on an issue and we have the instruments and the knowledge and the experience to communicate it um, that we have to we have a big responsibility because we can we can do that and I think we should use it this ability but we have to use it carefully and regarding instead in this moment that we are facing now this global pandemic um, 
I think it's going to be uh, yes, but I want to understand how the designer can do something for this moment, can help somehow the, the world now. Mm. If you think that the yeah, designer yeah. can help, of course. I think, yes, generally, yes. But I think we have to to take a step back in the current moment and we have to the only thing we have to do now is helping the helpers so the the doctors the nurses the the the, the politicians as well because they are forced to be very in a way very spontaneous and very uh, creative in in a, in a kind of these very fast reactions. So we have to help. The helpers means if um, one of the leading fashion designers and fashion companies in the world opens his ateliers and change them into, into uh, a place where where um, um, safety masks are produced instead of haute couture fashion. That means for me uh, that it's an example for helping the helpers first and get a step back. And maybe the second, um, the, the designer analyze structures, questions them, Maybe we have to we, we, we have to get we get involved in a later in a later stage uh, because what is happening now um, a lot of facts are created now um, in a good way or but as well in a dangerous way for example and there is a there is, maybe there is, uh, the designer as a catalyst of this change and the analyst of what is happening now. Mm, yeah, let's make an, an, an example. Uh, Viktor Orban in Hungary is establishing a, a dictatorship now. under the flag of fighting against the pandemic. And so we have a dictatorship in the U European community. What is happening? And if what is happening after the pandemic, the pandemic will be finished one day. What is happening then? Is everything is going to be on the, on the place who it was before? The same is with the surviving or, or um, observation technology. Of course, in, in China and in South Korea and uh, in Singapore, they could lower the increase of, of, of sick people because they were in a way very, very radical in observation techniques that you could say see ah in this building are three positive corona people so, but this means what does it mean how how strong is the the look the, the the glance of the state into our iPhones into our private life and when the pandemic now it's of course it is important that we have these instruments now, but what is, what is when the pandemic is ending? Is the structure which is now built, will it be forever or not? And, what, what, and I think in this, in this, to stay awake uh, and to um, 
I think to put again, as I said, the finger on a on a certain point, design and graphic design is and campaigning could be could play an important role. Well, um, unfortunately, we finished with the tenth and last question. So, I mean, Leander, thank you very much. It was very interesting to know your point of view on these different topics. And a pleasure, of course, to meet you somehow again. Yes. I'm very happy to see you and to speak with you. And thank you a lot for your interesting questions. <laughs>